So I just had a look at the form. Uh, Tammy Abraham, their leading scorer, is out injured. Is out, isn't he? Their top scorer, uh, they've won. I think they've lost 10 out of the last 13 games. They've won one in the last 10. The form is on a par with Rotherham and Villa. Fourth from bottom, and uh, we haven't lost in seven, so. What are you going for? 50 quid on Newcastle to win. Printing money. Uh, hello, hello, and welcome to a special match day experience. Uh, tune in ten, uh, well, tune in ten, two network match report as well. Vince has here just put a fifty quid bet on Newcastle to win yeah, today. It's why, a are so, why are you so confident? Do you think they have lost ten of the last thirteen? Their best player, Chelsea Loney, Tammy Abraham, and leading scorer is out injured. They we, lost. We've got Gale, we, we've got Dwight Gale out though. Yeah, but don't make much difference. They lost 2 0 at home on Wednesday, so only three days ago, uh -huh. to Fulham, and Fulham aren't doing big guns. So when I saw that, I got odds of. Uh, uh, 50, it, was it 8, eight, 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 to, 15. eight to 15? So I thought, stick 50 quid on, get us 25 quid back. That'll have my match day points sorted. Lovely. Just see the lineups. What's your take? We've just come through. Well, we've got a replacement. Arm. Well, obviously, um, Gale's out. Mitrovic uh, leads the line today, but with the, he's taken out Diarmi and Gufran and replaced them with uh, Perez and. Bit of a crowd pleaser this one. Atsu what gets a, front a start. Four. What a front four! So you got At Richie does. Um, you, there was there was talk that Richie wouldn't play because of possibly protection against the, uh, the ban. But Richie plays. Perez plays behind Mitrovic's striker and Atsu on the left wing. I, I like the fact. That I think those three behind Mitrovic work better. Mitrovic with the hold up strong. I don't think those three would work as well behind Gale. What we do have. What we do have as well is we've got we've got we've got two proper wingers as well who can whip yeah, balls yeah, in. Yeah. Atsu will get balls in where Gufran probably wouldn't. So with Richie on one side and Atsu on another, getting balls in for a target, a proper target man, uh, Mitrovic. I think those front four are going to do damage. I would say I might go back, or I should have maybe put a bet on more than two and a half goals. Definitely. Well, my mate, my mate Stu, my mate Stu, hello Stu, he's a Bristol City fan, and I thought I suggested to him that both with both star strikers out, it might be an under two and a half goals affair. He told me that uh, we would be t more than two and a half goals up by half time. So um, he's not too optimistic. Their form is as bad as Villas and Rotherham's. They've got one win in the last 10. So. Lost 10 out of the last 13. It's horrific, isn't it? It's really seven. horrific. So. My bet's going to be good. My bet's going to be good. Let's hope so. I think we, it, it, we should be doing the business. Um, but it's Newcastle United, it's a championship. Anything can happen, Vince? No. Anything can happen, but we'll win. Let's hit right. small pubs and then we'll see you at half time. Right about. Adam for the two network. We've got a couple of Bristol City fans here. Hey. Now you guys, you've won one in ten. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. What, what, what? You fancied your chances today? Three nil, man. Three nil. You're three nil. Who's going to get your goals without Tammy Abraham? Matty Taylor with two and who else? Matty Taylor and a sneaky goal. Well, well Matty Taylor's a danger oh, man. Yeah, he's Matty a Taylor's a danger man. This is insider yeah. knowledge we're getting <laughs> direct from away fans. How long does it take you to get here today, guys? Uh, not long. We come from Harrogate. So oh, Harrogate. Ah, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. it's, ah, it's an hour and a half or something, if, yeah. if that. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, Bristol originally, obviously. But, yeah. but, but yes, but uh, Bristol, <laughs> bottom of the form. Well, you're very low down the form guide yeah. as well. Yeah, we're, we're paying crap. But 
Yeah, St James's Park is a place of dreams. Yeah. Blackburn have come here, Wolves yeah. has come here, Sheffield Wednesday have come here, yeah. all got results. Yeah, it's, it's the FA Cup day for us, isn't it? We're going to stop our game and we're going to win. Is this one of, have you been to New, uh, St James's Park before? I had to support you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Have a high five for that. Thank you very much. Good luck, fellas. Good to meet you. High five. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. We're in Shark Club uh, for the last pint, pre-match pint. 15 minutes to kick off. We've got 15 minutes. Uh, we've spoken to uh, Geordie's fan film. We've spoken to Bristol City fans. Um, Matty Taylor, the danger man. Matty Taylor is the danger man, according to uh, the Get guys. The goals. He fancies himself tongue in cheek at 3 0 uh, without Tammy Abraham. So, look, we don't know that's not going to happen. But it won't happen. But it might. But it what won't. What is your prediction, though? I will win 2 0. We haven't conceded much at all, at all, in a fair bit. 3-1, we'll concede 3-1, probably a penalty. Who concedes penalty? Uh, Has to be done it, Sean. No, Lascelles. Lascelles, yes! Yes, yes, yes. Right, let's get finished. Um, and Mitrovic will score today. Guaranteed, you heard it here first. We'll see you at half-time, guys. So it's half time. It is uh, it is Newcastle United nil, Bristol City two. Um, so the first goal was from uh, target man Wilbraham. But it wasn't a danger man cited by the Bristol City fans earlier. Offside, but I think the shout to offside. The cells must go mental at the lines, man. But but we had we left two men at the back post. Two could have put that ball in. If he and had and, the, and Yedlin's, Yedlin's probably come to be the worst header. <laughs> He's got the worst heading capability out of the whole of our back four. So, and then, I don't know what happened, what happened to the second one? The ball knocked over the top. I blame Dumb, Dumb it. I blame Dumb, Dumb look, look. If Dollar shouted, it's Dumb's fault. But if Dollar Hallison shouted, then I think it's done. It's, 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 it's on the ball. It's on Dollar to shout because he can see the situation. Pace on the ball. You're in that position. Kick the ball out. Don't care. Do you think there's any chance if the striker getting him get the ball, any play get the ball? Either way, either way you look at it, it's another defensive power from Newcastle United. And again, we are losing at home again. Yeah. This has happened yeah. so After many 20 times. 20 minutes or two now. This has happened so many times as a James part of the season. This isn't. I mean, what our our friend, our Bristol City supporter, Carl half time said 3 0. He said 3 0 Bristol City, tongue in cheek. Vince has put, a, Vince has put 50 quid on this. But the form, the 
serious, serious shit. If we lose this game, I think our time is That's the severity of this. The run we've got, such, got, the run such, we've a got such a difficult run. Reading, Brighton. The run we've got coming up, the three best teams in the league that we've got coming up, we can't turn this around at half time. Benitez has got a hell of a half time team talk. Hell of a guys, anyway. Look. Going in this game, we could have come to be one three nil. We need so we, we're always going to. If you su suggest that, then we're going to score three goals. If we half, score three goals, the then we. But we, we we absolutely need three goals. We, ca we can't even afford to draw this. I'd suggest a draw wouldn't be a disaster, but well, a draw full stop wouldn't have been a disaster. It might have been disappointing, but a defeat here, it's you just can't. Afford. If you want, if you've got designs on winning the league and promotion of the Premier League, which is by far in the bag by now. You've got to be turning these guys over. Called, One win in, in ten. One preview, win in ten. In our pre-match preview, lost ten out of the last thirteen. One win in ten. Lost two nil at home to Fulham. Best player, leading goal scorer out. We're at home. It's not on. It's not on. It's not good I know enough. Our defensive side's been bad. Our attackers were just. We need for me. Call back off. On half time. We need to make an attacking make the call, change. Make look, the change. Look for me. We 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 do look dangerous going forward. It just hasn't happened for us. We've knocked a few dangerous balls in that could have could have turned out slightly different. So I think we've got we have got the ideas, but we just need to actually execute them now. And we need to put the ball in the back of the net. Simple as. Come on! Come on! Come on! See you at full time. No, we... <laughs> yeah! Two two. Ten minutes left. Come on! <laughs> Deserved it. Lucky hair. Right, Newcastle United 2, Bristol City 2. Um, we played a lot better in that second half. There's, um, my, but... uh, there's my 50 pounds bet. <laughs> 50 quid. 50 quid. Down this one. Hey, fair play to the Bristol City fans. They're in good voice today, had good banter. Um, they played very well, I thought. They, I, I don't think even they believed that they went, they went 2 0 up. After 20 our, minutes. Our second half performance yeah, was we excellent. Well, we well, it was, it was, it was we really, really good. Really I mean, good. I'd say excellent, but we just. Perez didn't stood up. Yeah. Atsu got better. Yeah. Diame came on, make a change. Gufran looked good. I, th I think we. Uh, I think Callback coming off made a massive difference. I did. Massive look, when, we, when you turn it down, you don't need to defend anymore. You just need to get goals. And look, we pushed them. We got the two. We got the two goals. We got a draw, which isn't the. It's not the worst result. Not look, from where we were. It's not where from where and we were. But one of their goals was a defensive error again from Dummer or Darlo. The other goal questionably offside. Yeah. yeah. I'm, but I'm was, happy that I was yeah. at half time. Look, look, look. We, we could have won that. We, basically, we had 21 shots, they had nine, but we both had five Our on target. Our possession was about we twice both, as much of theirs. We both had five on target. So ultimately, the finishing wasn't there tonight. Wasn't there? Their keeper had a good game. Lots keep of good time. Lots of which, which, uh, the referee. The referee didn't didn't do anything for the discipline of the game in terms I of think those time wasting. One yellow card for them. That one. Uh, yeah, but the, the referee. Sh sorry, the keeper should have had a he should have had a yellow card at least once. This six this six second rule is absolutely outrageous. It just never happens. So ultimately, to, to it's two all. Let's it's see two what Brighton's all. result that's is. But Brighton, it is Brighton, 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 two all just... at home against. A, a really the form in the league. But then this is the championship, this is what happens. We cannot afford to make these defensive errors. Whoever's fault it was, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a team effort, we shouldn't have done it. The run and, we've uh, got coming up, though, the run we've got coming up, this well, we just, have been three points. If, if the we're bag. not going to pick up three points against Bristol, then we're going to have to beat the likes of Brighton. We're going to have to beat the like. Do you know Redden, what I mean? And, yeah, we're going to have games. to beat these teams. They're all six pointers. So if we can get a win at one, away at one of those at those places, then yeah, we, we should be all right. But we're we're risking this promotion, that was, man. That was my first bet since July last year. The last bet I had was the Euro 2016 final. After Ronaldo went off, I put 300 quid on France to win, and I said I'm not going to bet again after today. And, and that's that's me for another six. How much months. was it? Three hundred pound. Oh, fifty pound a day. Oh, right. pound then, just I'm just to save me uh, referring back in this video. Um, but anyway, I'm not betting again. I'm not looking again. I'm not betting again. We've had, we didn't get the win, Vince, but we've had a, a wonderful match day experience. So all of you, all of you fans and viewers from around the world or around the country that don't often get to come to St James's Park, go around the pubs in Newcastle, feel the experience. We hope this video has given you a bit of an well, insight or a nice reminder. It's a more authentic experience in Newcastle. Oh, yeah. Fuck up and then pull it back. <laughs> 
back by the skin of our teeth. Yeah. At least it's realistic. It, it, it is a the very... The life of a toon farm. It is a, a very realistic Object home performance. Object disappointment. Yeah. But then a sweet, but not a enough, sweet joy at the end. But not enough to get fully annoyed about it. Yeah. So, you know, it, 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 it's a 2-2 draw. It's a blue balls by Newcastle United. It's a 2-2 draw, but it's a, it's a classic balls up. Anyway, this has been the Toon Network. That's been Vince. I've been Adam. This has been a match day experience. Uh, we, we, we hope you've enjoyed the analysis before, during, and after the game. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, getting to, it's we're getting time to go home. We're getting chucked right. out again. It is time to these go stewards home. are doing their job. <laughs> Good lads. Good lads, these. Anyway, subscribe as always. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Watch yourself, yeah. mate. iTunes oh, and care. SoundCloud. And we'll see you soon. Pete will be back with the Toon in 10. See you later. Bye, bye.